At Castelmaudary in the southwest region of France, welcome to the French Foreign Legion. Fourth section, gather. Three junior officers, five master corporals will make up the supervision 56 volunteers. At your command, sir. These 56 men are the new batch of the elite unit. Selected after several stages, their training will last four months. You willingly decided to belong to the Foreign Legion. You presented yourselves at Aubain. You were selected. You chose challenge. Now you will have to assume your choice. We didn't come to look for you. You willingly came to the Foreign Legion. It's on you to show that you are worthy to become legionaries. They come from every part of the world to serve the French army. Who are they really? What is their story? What are the reasons that push them to make a complete break of the past? As far as changing identity, I am inventing a new signature since I have changed my name. Change of identity and rigorous discipline. Okay, you undress, you take off everything, you remain naked, complete striptease. They are saying goodbye to their civilian life, that's all. A new life, a new face. Intense physical tests on the program. Not everyone will stand the test. I thought I could, but I can't handle this. Warrant Officer Stefan is the chief instructor. He who speaks little has little to answer, right? But it doesn't work like this. Not good, not good, not good. We will rekindle that well. Under his command, failure is intolerated. For every deviation, a sanction. I do not want to see any weakling here with the legs, hands. Get ready. Over the weeks, Legion candidates learn the trade. Increasingly difficult tests and training more real than life. You always look at the areas with your mate. If the enemy comes, you are in trouble, understood? For the finale, this intense training, a 60-kilometer walk in the mountains, with 30 kilos on the back and a weapon on the shoulder. For some, the test will be a living hell. I wasn't really expecting this, I thought I was able. It is more and more difficult. For it to be remembered, you need to feel pain and a beautiful landscape. Here, you have both, so you go all the way understood. Never give up on your goal, the white Kepi of the Foreign Legion. The reward that marks their entry into this exceptional corps. Wear your hats. The best are retained, but before getting there, they will have their lot of pain for four months. Legionaries' journey begin at nogent sur marne some kilometers to Paris. In this barracks begins a long selection process. To carry out this mission, 100 supervisors are in place. They carry out a first selection of recruits who cross the gates of the Nogent Fort. Each day around 20 volunteers give it a try, with one dream at heart. To be part of the Great Legion family. Hello. I would like to join the Legion. You want to join yes. the Legion? Nationality? Gabonese. Do you have any toiletries? Yes. I looked at the website. I took a pair of flappers, three underpants, three t-shirts, a toothbrush, shower equipment. To be a candidate here, you need few material stuff. 
it is best you are motivated. Engaging is a radical change of life. At 21, Stan is well aware. It is really something. You wake up one morning and say to yourself, I am going to the Foreign Legion. I called my family. I told them about everything. I will go to the Foreign Legion. And for five years, they may not hear from me specifically. And I came here at once. San the Gabonese is not the only one to give it a try this morning. At the same time, a Spaniard, Algerian, and Brazilian come to the Nogent Ford. Unlike any other, the Foreign Legion is renowned worldwide. Each year, 8,000 men from all countries come knocking at its door. It's from now on that the tests will succeed each other for these new recruits. Keep your bag here. Place it well on the line. Here begins an uphill battle. On average, the Legion admits one candidate on eight. Now, you will do pull-ups. You have to do your utmost. First elimination test, pull-ups, an effective exercise that already allows the recruiter to mark the right elements. That is the case with Stan. We see that he is a good athlete. He has a good physical build. At the Nogent Ford, selection is just at its beginning. Before the next schedules, candidates must make sure to stay fit. On their own initiative, physical activities come one after another. Stan the Gabonese seems particularly involved and motivates the troops. Good, 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 good. One more, one more. Just one. Yes. Good, 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 good. You have to. We have to do it. We are all in this. We have to help each other. We are all in this together. A team spirit emerges, even though candidates come from different parts of the world. Just like Kavik. For this young Ukrainian, a radical change of life is motivated by economic reasons. In Ukraine, I am a professor of history. Well, there, it isn't a very good job. You don't make much money, barely 100 euros per month. That is why I dream of joining the Legion and become a soldier. In Ukraine, it is impossible. If Kovic succeeds in becoming a legionary, his starting salary will be 1,280 euros. At the barrack, the parade of candidates is endless. Newcomer Sean, he is from Scotland. Generally, recruits do not talk of the reasons that pushes them to want to join the Legion. Rare moment, Sean tells us his story with so much passion. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but right now, I really want to get in here. It's uh. This is my last try. The last chance to have a good life. I have nowhere to go. You know, I have a criminal record. I have children under my care. I do not see them often. I need a cause I can cling to. Change me. Something that changes me deeply. I want to do something good. I want to be proud of myself once more. Like Sean, many candidates hope to integrate the Foreign Legion to fix past mistakes or failures. Same as Shirt, a 34-year-old Dutch who came in a few days ago. Like Sean, he hopes that the Legion will give him a second chance in life. Come with me. What's your name? Sean. Where do you come from? Scotland. Guided through by Shirt, Sean discovers his new universe a dormitory with 20 beds. Choose your bed. You have the choice between this one and that one. I will take that one. Shirt has only been there for 10 days, but the Scottish obeys him firmly. He puts on his new uniform, which he shall wear throughout his stay at Nogent. No military uniform yet, just a sweatsuit. Guys coming quickly and daily. We need to explain the rules to them. 
how to make up the bed, what type of clothes. Need to do and how to do the beds and everything. So, shoes at the end of the bed. Should I put my shoes under the bed? You can place them at the left side. Strict rules of living already. It is the price to pay to join the legion. Like Sean, Shirt wants to move on from a battered life. My motivation, my motivation is, to is to be able to give uh, meaning to my life. On my life. I, did some really, really, uh, yeah. I have done a lot of shit in the past. Uh, I have been in jail. I, I was released jail, recently. So I, they released me recently, and I want to be a part of something good, something uh, greater than And myself. I wish to do something and, good now, uh, something that I will be proud of. Really good for the world. Will Shirt's past allow him to complete the adventure? In the meantime, he teaches the basics to Sean. For example, dressing his bed in a flawless manner, the famous square bed. A taste of a life regulated by the millimeter. Thanks, man. But the journey is far from over. Second decisive stage for candidates, thorough questioning. Okay, guys, All right, guys, stand up and follow me. Here, nothing is left to luck. Each candidate's past is scrutinized. It's Shirt's turn to be questioned. The Legion overlooks certain conflicts with the law. However, for the Dutch, his past may be too heavy. Do you have problems with the police? Yes, I had problems with the police. I was caught for international drug trafficking. I cannot go back home to Holland. I had to cut ties with my family to keep them safe. It was too dangerous. I lost everything. And presently, what is your status with justice? Everything is okay now. I have paid my debt. Shirt's problems with justice are now history, but Dutch criminals are looking for him. He hopes that the Legion would protect him and will disregard his scandalous past. I will just note them. There's a department in charge of all this, the security level and all that. They will check that everything they said is true. The fact that he has the courage proves he has the will to do some other thing and to get on with it. He succeeds in integrating the Legion. Shirt could start all over. He would be protected by Hindu identity. From now on, candidates must forget their past. Like Stan the Gabonese, the Legion gives them a new personal story. Weed first, okay. Once you leave here, a panga is your new identity. If the corporal calls out a panga, that's you cool? You are a panga. Family name, a panga, name Philip. How does it feel to have a new identity? <laughs> It's a little mysterious. I feel good. It's a little mysterious. Not everyone can change identity as they wish. That's just what interests me, because I am somewhat, we will say we are different. It's a bit exceptional. All is good. You have understood yes, it all. Do not forget your new identity. As from today, you shall be called a panga. Yes, sir. If we do not like the candidate, if he doesn't meet the requirements, what we require of them, he could be sent back. Basically, he shall not be retained. If we see that his profile is good, he continues with us. Changing identity is one of the Legion's tradition. Stan becomes Philip, Sean comes Robert, and Shirt becomes Tony. For candidates at this stage, nothing is decided yet. As the days go by, tension is more and more visible. Candidates are now subjected to a series of medical checks. The slightest health problem means immediate expulsion. At the end of the tests, the results are out. It won't be good for you. Go see the corporal so he can explain everything to you and get out from here now. Okay. Okay, thanks, sir. Good luck for you. Good luck. 
Shirt has failed. His dreams of a new start fade. I wanted to be honest and say everything about my past. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. That's life. The troop's moral suffers a blow. His new friends are in shock. Shirt won't be given any explanation regarding to his elimination. Nevertheless, he has an idea of the issue. It is because of my past for sure. Sean, the Scottish, tries to stand by him in his own way, the man who guided him upon his arrival. I am sorry for you, man. I lost six months for this. All this for nothing. I have nowhere to go and no money either. I bet everything on this one. Do you have money on you? I have nothing. You need you need Maybe you can have my last five dollars. I, I don't mind. You, you can have, have mine as well. I have bucks. 20 euros. That will be great. Thanks, guys. I don't mind. I really don't. Thanks. Good luck. At the Legion, there is no time to get emotional. An endurance test awaits the remaining candidates. A test which at first sight seems easy. Sean the Scottish has not yet realized that what looks like a health walk is actually a daunting exercise. We will soon begin with the next stage. I hope my age won't be a problem to me. Well, I don't think so. I am confident. I am even impatient rather than nervous. One. Three, two, one, uh, go. Start of the test. Aim of the game, to run for eight minutes, between two lines of 20 meters each spaced apart. At each beep, the rhythm increases. The exercise becomes tricky for Sean. Stop right there. Get out of here. Seriously, leave. It's over. No, I'll keep going. I cannot give up. Sean is stopped on the spot. He may get kicked out. I just can't run anymore. I thought I could do it, but it's actually too much for me. His dream of becoming a legionary is hanging by a thread. For number eight, after a second warning, we were forced to take him out because he was unable to reach the start and finish lines. The last survival chance for Sean is to succeed the next test. The famous pull-ups. He must do his utmost to stay in the race Just after nine moves, he no longer has strength in his arms. I am very disappointed in myself. Very much so. So we'll see how it goes. I can't lead today. That's impossible. For Sean, the future is uncertain. Will his nine pull-ups be sufficient to cover his failure during the race? Stan doesn't seem to have that problem. Once again, he is very comfortable. 24 pull-ups, he smashes the record, under the applause of his mates, which is frowned upon by the instructor. The next time you this, you all leave. Where do you think you are? At a show? Go that way. For Stan, mission accomplished. He passed the tests with flying colors. I couldn't let go. I could hold until my body gave up. It was for me the most important moment to give my all till my body has nothing to give. It was the most important for me. Though less performant, Sean will soon know his fate. His future is held within minutes in a corridor. Uh,
Your endurance tests are pretty poor, but we will let you continue. We have decided to give you a second chance, but you really have to work hard. Yes, I will run every day. Every day twice. Two times a day if possible. Okay. 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 Why do you care so much? Because I need it in my life. If I don't do so, I will leave this place with nothing, if not a huge sense of failure. And leaving here, just because I couldn't run for two more minutes, is not an option. I wouldn't bear it. In the evening in the barracks, it is time to relax. Sean smiles again. He has recovered from his efforts, and above all, he is sure to go to the next stage. After Nogent, selection for successful candidates will continue in the south of France. Okay, lights out. At 5 o'clock am, the nine selected candidates take the bus to the Lyon station. Seven hours train ride to get to the Aubagne Incorporation Center, where it is all going to play out for them. A few kilometers from Marcel, the Viennat district in Aubagne is the heart of the Legion. Gentlemen, my mission here is over. I will hand over your passports to the command base. Good luck, Good luck to all, okay? The supervisor who accompanied them from Nogent hands over to the Aubang team. From now on, the atmosphere will change radically. Only the best will become legionaries. The nine candidates are immediately put in the mood. Okay, you undress, take off everything, remain naked. Total strip tease. Change your underpant. Silence in the ranks. No fantasy is tolerated. They will have to change. They aren't yet soldiers. But they are ready to be in the military, so selection starts at this time. Once I change them, they will start working. There will be a lot of things that will happen, generally in 12 weeks. It's either they are chosen or not. At Aubain, up to half of the volunteers can be rejected. Not yet in the military, they are now subject to the harsh law of the Legion School. Anything that can remind the candidate of his past is forbidden. Personal belongings or money from their countries of origin. Now, you take out your money. Money in your hands. Only euros. No. Only euros. This is France. Just your money. Only money. What can they keep and not keep? Just their money and cigarettes. Pocket. Pocket. At the entrance, you feel at the instant that it is different. It is getting a little more serious here. Not that there it isn't serious, but it has become something really concrete. What's more, it is something faster and improved. Take all your belongings. You put them in a bag and close it. Henceforth, every link with the past has been broken. At the Legion, every volunteer is a changed man. Is it like a goodbye? They say goodbye to their civilian lives, that's all. Come on. All personal belongings of the nice candidates will be kept in a room during the selection and training period. But to forget the past doesn't mean that the Legion overlooks it. These men will become the elites of the nation. 
All right, come with me. This is the information unit. Behind these walls, each applicant is interviewed by a dozen interrogators in connection with Interpol and the world's police. Everything has been checked, the phone chip, bank accounts, social networks. The recruits discover that it's difficult to hide whatever from the Legion. The reactions of the candidates are carefully observed, their answers are strictly checked. This dreaded interview takes place in absolute secrecy. We are prohibited from filming. After two hours of questioning, Stan shares his impressions to a recruit who hasn't been before the commission. You are not going to openly respond. You will try. You won't try to justify yourself. You'll really have limited time to respond. That already plays a lot. Since you are being questioned, they are not asking for so much details. That said, you have to say just little, not much. They succeed in making you doubt. They could give a false information about you, and it is really relevant even though they succeed in placing doubts in you. For Stan, the dice are rolled. When it is physical work, it depends on us. You know you have to run. You know that if it isn't going, you have to insist. When it is not up to us, it is a little stressful. It's true that it is a little frustrating to think we are powerless before what might happen. We don't know on what we will be judged. We don't know how it will be done, so we are a little bit stressed. We hope it will work for now. My duty is to be here. When it rains, I run. I have just one mission, to be here. When it rains, I run. The siren sounds again. Several times a day, candidates must join the assembly square at a race pitch. Here, everything is time. Even bath time. You have a minute each to take your bath. That's great. After lunch, this is the best part of the day. That's the best of the best part of the day after lunch. The recruits don't have a moment to enjoy. Hey, one minute. I know. Just leave. Finish it already. Be on your 12. Attention. At ease. Good night. Good night, sir. Let's get to bed and sleep. Lights out, it is 10 o'clock p.m. Tomorrow promises to be decisive. It is now the time for all volunteers to know their fates. It is the proclamation of results this morning. The announcement shall be made by the head of center, Lieutenant Sebastian. At attention. Everyone at ease. For all these men, will weeks of efforts be rewarded? One after the other, the recruits are being called by the lieutenant. Nawa. Aaron. Varisic, present. Stan starts to realize that names are being called, and to him, failure looms. We remain in position. At your disposal. Despite his will and physical qualities, the young Gabonese will not be part of the Foreign Legion. Same for Sean the Scottish. His name isn't called out. He too will not be a legionary.
Amongst those who continue the adventure, Kavik, former Ukrainian professor, sees his dream come true. As from now on, he is officially part of the French army. You have all been selected. If someone among you isn't ready to accept this choice, he should speak up now. Right now, do not waste time, neither yours nor mine. I will ask you again one more time. Does anyone want to leave? At this moment, the life of the American Wesley and other selected candidates have just changed. At the slightest deviation, sanction is immediate. This young Russian's only fault is to not have quickly responded to the call of his name. Next time you will answer faster. Do you understand? Understand? Yes. Stand up. Kovic and the new legionaries are now warned. You have to obey and respond immediately, even to the most simple tasks. Here, they must put their pack in their barracks, a sprint in less than 10 seconds. During the coming weeks, learning will continue at an increasing pace. At the same time, for those who have failed, it is time to leave. You have not been selected to join the ranks of the Foreign Legion. At the call of your name, you will receive payment. You go home. All these men must resign themselves to giving up their dreams. Their consolation, a 40 euros pay per day since their arrival at Albany. For Stan, it is a difficult return to civilian life. The young Gabonese regains his identity. Is this your passport? Yes. Okay. Here you go. Stan won't get a second chance. He will no longer be able to join the Legion. Do we become insensitive by caring for people who are eliminated? There is no raising of awareness here. Being insensible isn't impossible. We do not feel anything. Now, we move to the bus. Come with me. Stan had been preparing mentally and physically for months. Failure is harsh. He will never know why he wasn't selected. Definitively unfit. My profile doesn't suit the needs of the Foreign Legion. I sincerely don't know anything more. Well, I think that they are the experts they know. If they say my profile doesn't fit, it obviously means it doesn't. I didn't come here like a tourist. I came here because I actually wanted to make a career. I wanted to work here. I wanted to have a place in the Foreign Legion. Now that I am told, I am definitively unfit. Yes, I am disappointed. I could never come back. Never ever. Stan and the others have no chance to come for another selection. In some cases, for example, a minor health issue, candidates can represent themselves again. From the 56 successful candidates of the batch, Wesley is from Texas. After failing the U.S. Marine entrance test, he is already relieved to be in the last stage. I have a weight less on my shoulders. That's cool. It's like I won the lottery. I am really happy. Do you know where you are going to? No. No idea on where we are going. We do not ask questions. As a symbol of their selection, in a few minutes, they will receive their packs. We are here to give you your uniforms. Okay? You two in front. T-shirt down. 
The recruits are now dressed from foot to cap. Proper uniform is the reward of several weeks of effort. Three, two, one, take position. Come on. To celebrate the moment, a few more pumps, according to the Legion's tradition. Thank you, who? Thanks, mate. Go down. Thank you, who? Thanks, mate. Up. Thank you, who? Thanks, mate. Other highlight of their incorporation, the prescribed hairstyle. For all, a visit at the hair clipper. For Kavik, the Ukrainian, it is surely the most difficult moment since his arrival at the Legion. Done. <laughs> I haven't changed my hairstyle since the fifth grade. Oh there, that's a lot. That's it, done. Take a look at yourself. <laughs> it is terrible. I don't like it. You don't like it? No, definitely not. Do you realize that it is for your whole life? Yes, but I can't do anything. This is my new life. Hope is a South African, a former bodyguard. He still has trouble realizing that he has made it. I was really scared because they called us alphabetically. When the letter H came in, I didn't immediately hear my name. I said to myself, wow, what does this mean? I could already see myself flying back home. How would I find another job? Finally, after five or six names, they called my name. I became really relieved. It is good to hear. It's Can fine. I Can I go? At Alban, a last boogle wake for the new legionaries. At dawn, they are summoned for an official ceremony led by Lieutenant Sebastian. Enlisted volunteer urge. Thanks, sir. Successful candidates are officially hired by the Legion. Enlisted volunteer. Everyone receives in turn his contract. Hope, the South African. Enlisted volunteer. Kavik, the Ukrainian. And Wesley, the Texan. Enlisted volunteer. Civilians some weeks ago, these men have already gone a long way, from the Nogent Fort. There are 56 today to join the elite corps they dreamt of. At Castelmadere in the southwest, they will discover their new world. Starting with Chief Warrant Officer Stefan, the training commander. He is German. Former parachutist, he served on all fronts. Okay, we are complete. His experience in the field makes him one of the most respected instructors of the Legion. Now sit. Sir, sit. Legionaries will soon be fixed on the sense of discipline of their new leader. Stop sleeping, stop sleeping. It's been one minute that you were in the bus and you're already sleeping. The next to sleep will get down. He will walk the corporal. He loves to walk.
We go gradually. Nojit Fort is over as well as Abang. Here, we are really strict. In the army, we give orders, we don't pamper. Good. Everyone up. Assemble outside. From now on, rules will totally change. Quickly. New rules, but also new places. Future legionaries take their quarters a few kilometers to Castelnaudary. In a farm renovated by the army. In the countryside from the rest of the world, they have one month to comply with the legion's strict code. You have four minutes to collect your cups. All right, let's go. Under the orders of Sergeant Oleg, volunteers perform each task requested, no matter how small it is. Like here, getting your cup from your luggage. As soon as they arrive, they are under constant pressure. Each of their actions are scrupulously checked and evaluated by the instructors. All right, everyone, stand side by side and go down. Follow my lead. One, two, repeat after me. From now on, orders follow suit without any particular reason. Here, no more time to ask the slightest question. You have to obey blindly. The recruits discover their new world without further ado. Silently towards the dormitories, a barrack for 16 men. Okay, move. A little space for each to be arranged with utmost rigor. Volunteers have exactly five minutes to be set according to the rules. Who owns this wardrobe? Who owns this wardrobe here? This, it is the little details. Do you see the difference? Juan Antonio is Chilean. Highly motivated by his new life, he'll do anything to be a legionary. It's part of the job. You have to know how to work under pressure and more so here. Because the Legion is a troop of elite, you have to work under pressure every time and have to do it well. It's part of the training. You have two options. You take all of this as a punishment or you take it like a training. However, for me, I like it. For me, it's good. Quickly, Juan Antonio, who was a bank employee, stands out. Are you helping your mate out? That's great. This is cohesion. Look over there, there's a difference, right? Yes, sir. What's behind here? Fold your jacket properly. Cyril is French, at 30, he wants to achieve his dream to enter the Legion. I was a firefighter, but it is not the same thing. Here is much faster, much smaller, and much more squared. A new adventure, a radical change of life, you have to abandon family, friends, or former jobs. It is not easy, but I did it, and I do not regret it. Cyril has an advantage over the other future legionaries. He is one of the only Francophones of the batch. Mate, introduce yourself. No, I do not understand. Introduce yourself. For most, not speaking French well becomes a daily problem. A problem for Wesley, the American. Like all the others, from now on, orders will be given in French. I showed you how to make up a wardrobe. Every day I will check. Every day, every day, every day. I will check. I will do a check every morning. It must be this way. Understood or not? Yes, sir. Daily life in the barracks also means chores, not necessarily the reason why these men want to get involved. 
Priscilla, former firefighter and Juan Antonio, the South American, on the agenda today is the cleaning of the instructor's bathroom. My last job was at a corporate bank. I spent three years there. One day, I realized that my life was right before me, just sitting in front of a computer. Nothing exciting, no adventure. So I decided to come here. I always have in mind my ambition. I also keep in mind that the most important person in my life is my mother. She believes in me, so I can't fail. I made her a promise, so I will keep it. I made a promise to her, so I will, I will keep it. You can see it here. She's you can see there. her here. She's always with me. So, so whenever I get tired, tired, I look at her. I just I look at her. Back to the field. For once, they are not asked to run, but to walk at pace. In a pace unique to the Legion, slower than that of other regiments. It is a tradition that dates back to 1831. Every day, these men repeat the songs that forge the unity of the elite corps. Another specialty, the obstacle parkour. For this part of the instruction, they meet Surgeon Dole. Today you will do a complete course. You have to be careful because it is slippery. It is slippery on some obstacles. Your security is a priority. Any question? No, sir. Okay, we will get to the obstacles. A maximum time of three and a half minutes is required. Above that will not be good. Is it difficult? It is tough. It is really tough exercise. It is one of the toughest exercises in the Legion. Technique. Security. Understood? Wesley the American has one dream at heart. To integrate the parachutist unit. Go faster, faster, faster. Faster. He has to give the best of himself in every situation. That's good. Walk, but do not sit. Faster, faster, faster. Good, good, good. Bravo. Come on, come on. Breathe now. That's good. That's very good. Catch your breath. Easy peasy. It was very good. Very good. <laughs> is it easy? No, it is a lot of work to do that. It was good. They have all successfully completed the course. But there is still a long way to go before they can proudly wear the white kepi, the symbol of their entry into the Legion family. Entrants will have to complete all upcoming events. <laughs> 